Hueon was nice enough to send me a free GT190 monitor tablet for review. It's a monitor display tablet in the same vein as Wacom's beloved Cintiq, with the GT190 being significantly cheaper than the closest comparable Wacom Cintiq. The obvious selling point for this monitor is the price, but does the quality take a hit with a lower price tag? Let's find out. As a monitor, the screen is a fair size and displays nicely. It's not full 1080 HD, but higher than 720, displaying at a 900 resolution and not quite 16 by 9 widescreen. It's kind of this awkward size. The monitor display does have a slight gradient distortion when looked at from certain angles. Due to the size, I found it manageable, but it does make me feel a little too uncomfortable to try and shade and color and paint with it. The grading effect is similar to most laptop screens when you look at them from certain angles. The monitor surface is glossy and slick and I found that it was a little too slippery for my taste and I found myself wanting to go back to the matte finish with the Cintiq. Typically it's hard for artists to adjust from pen and paper to a tablet. The glossy finish has even less friction and makes it easy for you to slip up. Additionally, the glass between you and the display is rather thick, and at first, it's kind of hard to see where exactly you're drawing, but over time, you do get used to it. This may not be an issue for some, but during the installation process, I came across multiple errors and driver issues. Photoshop and Clip Studio Pro had issues when I was using dual monitors. Once I removed my second screen from the equation, the issues seemed to be resolved. But this is a huge problem for me personally, because I tend to use two displays for my work. From what I read, this is a common issue, and Huion is updating their drivers with fixes as we speak. I also like to mention the GT190 is the first Cintiq alternative that I've looked at that doesn't require batteries to use the pen. Instead, the pen is rechargeable and takes only an hour to fully charge. With it all said and done, the GT190 isn't a bad tablet. It's just I've been spoiled by the Wacom Cintiq. This isn't the tablet to knock Wacom off their throne, but for the price, it is a good option for those who aren't willing to bite the bullet just yet on a Cintiq and are looking for a cheaper alternative. For those who haven't been exposed to the Cintiq, you'll find this to be a great arsenal in your toolkit, but I wouldn't suggest anyone replacing their Cintiq with this product. Um, it's more of a buy it while you're waiting and saving up if you desperately need a monitor tablet before you can afford the big one.